Hello everybody and welcome back to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Today we'll be going into the third, actually second episode of Rumble Down Under. Let's start. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings, and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. Sly Cooper and the gang in Rumble Down Under. UN, UN Dumu Australia. So we really are in the outback. Helicopter. Uh, let's see. Murray Hazard Room. Yes. How many's he got? Only one. Okay. Let's get Murray back in action. All right, Murray. Time to brush up on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To make something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle square ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. All right, Murray, let's get you back in action. One pillar down. That's two. I don't know how that thing is standard. Nice job. You can also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great. I knocked the small guys out with one punch. You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy. Kid stuff. Let's see what you got. All right, let's go. Bonk. And throw. An easy way to knock out guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. Yep, throw a rock at that guard Anything, to knock him pretty out. Much to then that. pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. Grab him while he's out. Get over here. Goodbye. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket. Chump, he's just asking, begging me to rob him. That's right. He 
You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you can use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat, then pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. You got a prize. Okay, Murray. The juggle grab is one of your most powerful moves. You ready? Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. Is that right? You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. Just focus on the technique. Bring Alrighty on then. the pain. So, I was about to actually do this earlier. But now that Bentley told me to, I gotta do it. Grab. Throw. Whoops. That's that, that, that's the sneak attack, okay? That, 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 that's the sneak takedown. Whoops. How do you fail drop this? Come on, Murray, how do you fail drop this thing twice? Try this again. Over here. Throw. Excellent work. Another handy move is your thunder flop. Oh yeah. Terror from above. Just jump and press the square button to break this ground plate a few times. Thunder flop. Let's go. The move that he showed off at the beginning of Sly 2. Thunder flop. That's everything Murray can do for right now. We're done in here. Head outside and crack some skulls. Oh, with Murray? Definitely. Go back to Rumble Down Under. Let's check with see what new abilities. I want to buy Murray first. Ah, cool. The Berserker Charge. With Sly only available right now, it's best if I just do him. The miners have really torn this place up looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. Uh, that helicopter, I think, is a little bit more dangerous than I thought. What do you know? All right, let's do the mission. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome. He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Freak you out six ways from Sunday. Ooh, he's got something valuable. So what, is he a coyote? I think the small purple ones are, uh, dingoes.
Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Oh, uh um. -huh. Actually, kind of want to rob this guy real quick. See if he's got anything new. Unfortunately, give me one. What's with these pens? Why would a miner in Australia have a pen? What are you gonna do? Write your taxes or something? Is that a gator? These guys don't even pay taxes, I bet. This place is packed with wall hooks. The miners must use them to haul up their drills. Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice. Best to get it now than later. I am still wondering what the unspeakable is that Murray did. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up. And then haul him off! Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. Uh, it's tough sorry, to say, Murray. But given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bentley. That's actually really helpful for, well, right now, I think. Does that guy have something in his pocket? Best way to find out is to get down there. The answer is now. I didn't expect you to care that much. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. And just stealing new things altogether. But good to know that the guru is safe. You have nothing to worry about for right now, Murray. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. But she also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased and the guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage through one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the guru less difficult. He 
also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the Mask of Dark Earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not oh, gonna rule going it out back to as the a Contessa, to are we? Man, <laughs> bringing up the Contessa, huh? Giving everybody PTSD there, Bentley. Well, actually, I'd say that's a that's a good place just to stop for right now. I do have things to do later today, so just getting through the first mission and getting the setup ready and everybody discovering what they need to be doing is a good stopping point. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been Slide 3, Honor Among Thieves. See you all next time. Cookie Gamer Jr., out.